thing. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for beloved actors who were well respected for their craft until a scandal came to light that turned public opinion against them. Um, I've heard about you. Uh, <laughs> and you'll be caught soon. I know you will. James Corden. At one point, James Corden was a respected actor and creator with work on Gavin and Stacey in A League of Their Own. But when the Brit moved across the pond to take on The Late Late Show with James Corden, it wasn't long until he began falling foul of people. In 2022, Corden was accused of abusive behavior at the New York restaurant Balthazar when staff apparently made his wife's meal incorrectly. This earned the host a ban from the eatery, which was rescinded when Corden apologized. However, he then flip-flopped on his responsibility, causing the ban to be reinstated. I've been walking around thinking that I hadn't done anything wrong. This incident also brought to light other alleged Corden incidents that further tarnished his reputation. The restaurant manager and the server, they were lovely. They were lovely. They brought out four glasses of champagne as an apology, but we were like, that's not necessary. We don't need it. We'd had a great time. Even for me, it was too early to start drinking. Leah Michelle. Mr. Schuster, do you have any idea how ridiculous it is to give the lead solo and sit down and rock on the boat to a boy in a wheelchair? Whether she was releasing her own music or starring in Glee, Scream Queens, or popular stage productions, Leah Michelle was lapping up nominations and awards all over the place. The sky really seemed the limit for her, but then 2020 happened. That year, Michelle posted in support of the Black Lives Matter movement on social media. In response, several former Glee co-stars came forward to shine a light on her hypocrisy and terrible behavior behind the scenes. On top of microaggressions, Michelle was accused of racist behavior and being rude to various people on set. I just got you on the cover of New York Magazine! In the background, you were practically glowing about it. That's because I accomplished something. It had nothing to do with you. No, see, it actually has everything to do with me. This included apparently calling background performers cockroaches. While Michelle apologized, it was too late. You get great grades. You're a fantastic singer. Everybody hates me. Brands and fans left the actor in droves. Army Hammer. Is there any way to make this a fair fight? Jump out and swim. After roles in The Social Network, The Man from Uncle, and Call Me By Your Name, Army Hammer appeared to be on the cusp of superstardom. So what do you do around here? Read books. Transcribe music, swim at the river, go out at night. That sounds fun. After all, he was cast as a lead in 2022's Death on the Nile. However, the publicity for that film was wrecked once the scandal about Hammer came out in 2021. That was naughty of me. Hello. I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty. The actor was accused of both physical and emotional abusive behavior with ex-partners. Film companies, fans, agencies, and brands dropped the actor all at once. Were you surprised when you saw what was going on with him? To be honest with you, I wasn't shocked because it was multi-generational, just awful behavior. And He's pretty much vanished from the public eye since, but did go on to admit to being emotionally abusive in his relationships. We'll speak soon. Amber Heard. We should turn back. We can still on the surface try to prepare him for what's coming. Turn back. With the end of their marriage, the accusations of abuse, and the numerous court cases, neither party came out of this debacle looking especially favorable. However, it's safe to say Amber Heard was not the winner of the court of public opinion. She was accused of abusive behavior and having marital affairs. Social media was rife with people mocking the Aquaman performer and her legal team during the infamous 2022 defamation trial. The jury sided with Depp by awarding him $15 million, while Heard was awarded $2 million. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. And this only made it worse for her. Afterwards, she moved to Spain to escape the scrutiny. However, the public condemnation returned during the release of 2023's Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. I don't care what one thinks about me um, or what judgments you want to make about what happened in the privacy of my own home and my marriage behind closed doors. Kevin Spacey. After receiving two Oscar awards, Kevin Spacey ushered in the Netflix original era with his Golden Globe winning role in House of Cards. I need somebody I can talk to. We're talking. Tell me what we're talking about. Every project he was on seemed to often become a critical hit. Then in 2017, actor Anthony Rapp accused Spacey of assaulting him when he was a teenager. Spacey made sexual advances toward him after a party when they were both on Broadway. Spacey was 26. Spacey's response didn't help when he claimed he didn't remember the encounter, apologized for it happening, and then came out as gay, which drew the ire of many. 
When the allegations came to light, Spacey was dropped by House of Cards. I've led a very long, very successful career avoiding this sort of intrigue with the press. I can't see any advantage in starting now. But is there any disadvantage? Yet he continued parodying his character in strange annual YouTube videos. The actor has faced several court cases with further allegations. However, they have ended in Spacey's favor. After that, my guess is you'll never hear from him again. Michael Richards. I'm out. <laughs> Due to his role as Kramer on Seinfeld, Michael Richards was awarded the Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Character in a Comedy Series on three occasions. Here's to feeling good all the time. <laughs> Once the sitcom ended, he dabbled in TV a little while longer before focusing on his stand-up routine. In 2006, he was at the Laugh Factory in Los Angeles, California, where it all came crumbling down. Richards was recorded going on a vile, slur-filled rant at Heckler's. Afterward, he appeared on The Late Show with David Letterman to apologize. I'm, I'm really busted up over this, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry uh, to those uh, people in the audience, uh, the blacks, the Hispanics, the whites, everyone that was there that took the brunt of that anger and, 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 and hate and rage. And Suffice to say, this was not really the sort of apology people were looking for. Richards retired from stand-up and has rarely appeared in film and TV since. But no, no, I... I, I, I uh... Uh, 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 I busted up after that event seven years ago. It, it broke me down. Ezra Miller. I just need one more gig there. and I'm going to pay for my own tuition. You can't. I'm, like I always you said You cannot I would. keep doing this to yourself. Okay, I really don't want to talk about this again. There probably isn't an actor who has had as many legal run-ins in such a short amount of time as Ezra Miller. After being cast in the Fantastic Beast series and as The Flash in the DCEU, they became a household name. Hi. I love you. Thank you. You seem very nice also. Oh my God. Then 2020 rolled around and a video surfaced of Miller attacking a woman at a bar in Iceland. This was unfortunately only the beginning. I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior. I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe, and productive stage in my life. They have been accused of harassing people, theft, assault, and grooming, among some other odd and heinous behavior. In January of 2023, Miller pleaded guilty to misdemeanor unlawful trespass. Roseanne Barr as the lead of Roseanne, actor and comedian Roseanne Barr played a vital role in turning the show's first run into a critical success, securing many awards along the way. What happened? I thought you were dead. I'm sleeping. Why does everybody always think I'm dead? In 2018, the show was revived after 20 years. However, not long after, Barr messed up massively. What did you find out about me? After several of her controversial comments came to light, Barr made a racist tweet about former political advisor Valerie Jarrett. While Barr apologized and tried to backtrack, it was too late. ABC pulled the plug on the show, saying Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we decided to cancel her show. Roseanne was canceled and replaced by the Connors without Barr. I know Roseanne would want me to step in and watch over the family. No, it'd kill her. <laughs> she has, despite all this, continued airing unpleasant thoughts and conspiracies, even doing controversial comedy routines. I try to be even more offensive. <laughs> Danny Masterson. Before 2017, if you were to ask fans who their favorite character on That 70s Show was, many would immediately say hi. And you missed your shift at the photo hut. You better have a damn good excuse. I got busted. Nowadays, it's less so after what his actor did came to light. In 2017, several women filed sexual assault charges against the actor, who denied the accusations. One of them called the actor, quote, pathetic, disturbed, and completely violent, unquote. After a fourth allegation, however, Netflix fired Masterson, who was a producer and actor on The Ranch. He was also dropped by his talent agency. In 2023, at the retrial, he was found guilty on two of the three charges, with the remaining count resulting in a hung jury. Masterson was sentenced to 30 years to life in prison for his horrific crimes. You don't want a hug, do you? <laughs> God, no. Good. Because you're not getting one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Bill Cosby. It's under control, so no, no problem. problem. Right. <laughs> How do you expect to get into college with grades like this? No problem. Huh? See, 
I'm not going to college. Damn right. With the title of America's Dad, Bill Cosby was the biggest name in TV history, mostly known for his work on The Cosby Show. However, there were rumors that the actor was responsible for a host of grim crime, yet there was little traction to them. Hello, my dear. Mm. Right. But that all changed in 2015 when more and more victims began to come forward and the media ran their stories. I never saw any drugs, but I would wake up um, completely confused. In 2018, after over a decade of accusations, Cosby was charged with three counts of assault and sentenced to three to 10 years in jail. However, in 2021, Cosby's conviction was overturned after it was discovered that his due process rights had been violated. Regardless, this hasn't repaired Cosby's image, especially as he's faced civil cases for assault since. Who's in trouble now? <laughs> Which actor has done the opposite of those in this video and gained more respect the longer they've been around? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. I mean, you're only doing this to me because I'm the lead of Funny Girl and you're just the lowly understudy. Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.